everyone and welcome to Kids Rock, Rock of the Foothills online forum for Kids Church. Today we're continuing our series called Happy Campers, where we will be spending our summer with Jesus. There's one little problem with, that comes with being out in the woods. One problem that's more important than any other challenge that comes with roughing it. It's not where to sleep or even where to go to the restroom, but the big question is how will you eat? What kind of food will you bring? How will you prepare to cook that food? How will you keep your food safe from animals at night, like bears? Planning to eat and drink is critical on a camping trip, isn't it? But let's face it, your mom and dad know that and they've probably got it covered. In fact, I'll bet your parents not only have breakfast, lunch, and din dinner planned, but they'll have snacks as well. And what's the most popular snack on a camping trip? You take one marshmallow and toast it, Add it to some chocolate and graham crackers and you get what we call s'mores. There's nothing like a fresh s'more to fill your belly and warm you up at the end of a long day. But just like any other food we eat, a s'more can't keep you full for long. The next morning you'll need breakfast, then lunch, then dinner. Then, if you're lucky, another s'more. There is one food we can have that will satisfy us not just for a few hours, but for life. It's not food for our bellies that comes from the store or even nature, but the spiritual food Jesus speaks of in today's scripture. So let's dive in. Today's scripture comes from the Gospel of John in the sixth chapter. If you have a Bible at home, go ahead and grab it so you can follow along. We're gonna open our Bibles to the book of John, chapter six, Verses 25 to 40. They found him on the other side of the lake. They asked him, Rabbi, when did you get here? Jesus answered, What I'm about to tell you is true. You are not looking for me because you saw miraculous signs. You are looking for me because you ate the loaves until you were full. Do not work for food that spoils. Work for food that lasts forever. That is the food the Son of Man will give you. God the Father has put his seal of approval on him. Then they asked him, what does God want from us? What works does he want us to do? Jesus answered, God's work is to believe in the one he has sent. So they asked him, what miraculous sign will you give us? What will you do so we can see it and believe you? Long ago, our people ate the manna in the desert. It is written in scripture, the Lord gave them bread from heaven to eat. Jesus said to them, what I'm about to tell you is true. It is not Moses who has given you the bread from heaven. It is my father who gives you the true bread from heaven. The bread of God is the one who comes down from heaven. He gives life to the world. Sir, they said, give us this bread from now on. Then Jesus said, I am the bread of life. No one who comes to me will ever go hungry, and no one who believes in me will ever be thirsty. But it is just as I told you, you have seen me and you still do not believe. Everyone the Father gives me will come to me. I will never send away anyone who comes to me. I have not come down from heaven to do what I want to do, I have come to do what the one who sent me wants to do. The one who sent me doesn't want me to lose anyone he has given me. He wants me to raise them up on the last day. My father wants all who look to the son and believe in him to have eternal life. I will raise them up on the last day. Some of you friends may have taken communion before or the Lord's Supper. If you'll remember, during this special observance, we take a piece of bread and eat it. Then we take a cup of wine or juice and drink it. The wine or juice represents the blood Jesus shed for us on the cross, and the bread is his body. Jesus instituted communion the night before he was crucified, but long before that night, Jesus told people he was the bread of life. He is the bread that satisfies the spiritual hunger we all have. Jesus is the bread of life, and if we eat the bread of life, we will never be hungry spiritually 
again. Now it's time for today's craft. All right, friends, for our craft activity today, we're actually gonna do a STEM activity. It's a science, technology, engineering, or math activity. And to do it, you're going to need some mini marshmallows and toothpicks. You're gonna to get together with your family and you're gonna create an amazing piece of architecture. You can make a home, you can make a skyscraper, or maybe even a church, but have fun creating something with your family. Today, I started with a little cube and hopefully it'll turn into something pretty cool, but that's what I've got so far. Let's see what you can create. We are all born with a hunger inside us. It's not a physical hunger, but a spiritual hunger. There's a hole in our hearts that can only be filled with one thing, and that's Jesus. Instead of filling that hole with Jesus, many people try to fill it with other things like money, power, possessions, and some people even try to fill it with themselves, making themselves an idol or God. Jesus tells his listeners that there is no substitute to himself. He is the only thing that can satisfy our hunger. He is all we need. Now it's time for our questions. And remember, you can pause the video at any time to give you more time to talk about it as a family. Our first question is, who is the bread of life? Our second question is, what makes the bread of life different from regular bread? And our last question is, how do we get the bread of life? Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for sending the bread of life, Jesus Christ, into the world to die for our sins. We pray that you fill this hole in our hearts. We pray that we reach out to you uh, when we feel empty. And God, we pray that we share your love with the world and teach them about, teach people who haven't gotten to know you yet um, about, about just who you are and what you can do for them and your wonderful greatness. God, we pray that we share this bread of life with the world. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, friends, that's it for today for Kids Rock, and we'll see you again next time. Mm -hmm.